What's going on YouTube? This is Sehaman back with another figure review. Uh, today we're going to be doing, well we're going to be doing something a little different now. Um, you know, the Batman Dark Knight Rises, the final um, installment to Christopher Nolan's uh, Batman trilogy is uh, coming out um, in about a month. So I figured why not review some Batman figures. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Batman Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters. I'll be doing uh, other figures related to the Dark Knight Rises. Um, I'll be doing other Batman figures like from DC Direct or maybe like um, some, some Toy Biz figures. Uh, today we're starting off with uh, this is my first Hot Toys figure and I'm really excited. I'm really really excited to get this guy out of packaging take a closer look at him. Um, I grew up with um, this movie. I mean I was born in 84. This movie came out in 89. Uh, Batman is my favorite superhero. And today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Hot Toys uh, Batman DX09. This is the 1-6 uh, scale collectible figure. Um, really, really excited to have this. And I figured, you know, why not, you know, it being my first Hot Toys figure, why not, you know, get something that, you know, uh, that I remember from my childhood. And, and, of course, that's Batman. You know, Batman was one of the first um, superheroes. I Well, he was the first superhero that I really liked. And uh, he, he was just, you know like an inspiration, like my idol growing up. And then after that, I got into X-Men and Marvel. But as far as DC goes, Batman is my favorite DC character, like by far. And um, this is just awesome. I'm really happy to finally pick this up. Um, it just looks like a beautiful figure. The box is just really, really nice as well. If you get a close look here, there's the, uh, the, the box work here. Um, you can see Michael Keaton there. There's Batman there, little like a little collage right there at the bottom. Batman DX09. Let's see, I'm gonna have to move this over here. I'm gonna have to move all this stuff out of the way here. Hold on one second, guys. This is a pretty big box, so. All right, so right there it reads Batman One Six Scale Collectible Figure DX09. It's got the black and yellow colors on it too, which is pretty cool. There's the back of the packaging. It's pretty pretty plain black, but it's still nice. Over here, we got the... Uh, I love this Batman sim symbol. I think it's great. Uh, Batmobile, uniquely crafted for Batman, coming soon, man. Look at this thing. You know, that's a big maybe if I were to get this. I know it's going to be pricey, like in the 500 range or something. So, let's open this bad boy up. It's Hot Toys. So you can see here, it opens up. One six scale collectible figure. It says, witnessing his parents being murdered on the streets of Gotham City in his childhood, Bruce Wayne vows to avenge their deaths against crime and costumed as costume dark vigilante Batman. Under the control of the Joker, criminal empire Gotham City is full of gloominess and fearfulness. Batman starts his battle against his greatest foe, interfering with his evil plans, ruining his poisoning scheme, and finally eliminating him with his high-tech crime-fighting equipment. Promising to defend Gotham City, he will appear whenever the bat signal shows up in the sky. So right here it says, here only one will claim the light. It's got this little um, clear kind of, well it's not clear actually, but bat symbol there. Pretty cool. It does, it does come come out too. But I'm not gonna take it out right now. Let me just flip this over. It's got this nice little soft padding here. Paper is flying everywhere because I got my ceiling fan on. Right over here is the figure. And of course, under underneath all this is like where all the accessories and the cape is and everything. So he's got two interchangeable faces you can see here. But we're gonna get a closer detail as soon as I take this out. Um, of the um, figures and it says the features right here is parallel eyeball rolling system uh, translucent iris authentic likeness to Michael of uh, Michael Keaton as Batman detailed plane applications classic Batman facial expressions uh, newly let's see here newly developed body with 30 points of articulation movie accurate bat suit with cape and classic Batman logo artist uh, it says here head and body sculpted by pan so it tells you you know who sculpted it and everything all right so I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna take everything out of packaging on this and um, we'll go ahead and, and you know I'll go over everything as, as best as I can I mean this is my first Hot Toys figure so I've got to do this carefully so stay tuned guys okay so here we have uh, the Michael Keaton Hot Toys Batman outside of the packaging uh, I'm gonna do this review really quick uh, it's just too much to do too much I don't want to spend too much time 
um, getting into like the full detail on this guy, so I'm just going to do a quick review on this Batman uh, Hot Toys figure, which I absolutely love. Um, you can see here, I'll give you like a full body look on the actual figure. The, the cape is actually really nice uh, material. It looks leather. I mean, the whole outfit looks like it's like, like, like solid. You know what I mean? Like, like, it just, it just, it just looks real. Um, the top of the, the ears here are pretty sharp spikes. Just the head sculpt is just amazing. Looks great. It's got that uh, original Bat logo there. You can tell it's different right here in the bottom. You can see the likeness of Michael Keaton. He's got his utility belt, which is removable. Um, he's got his uh, the grapple gun, which is two different pieces. This this piece here on the left is a magnetic. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, he comes with this really nice uh, display base. Get this to focus here. Which reads, Batman... MMS DX, if you can even see that. It's got a nice bat logo there. It's got two LED lights on each side. There's a switch on and off button on the on the back there, so it turns on. You can display Batman in the dark. Really cool. So it does come with this uh, very nice uh, display base. My first hot toy, so I'm still getting used to these things. Let's see here. Um, trying to find something I can rest my camera on because this figure is pretty big. Alright, this will have to do, I guess. I don't think that's going to work. It's too short. Here we go. Alright, this will this will be okay. A little high, but it'll be okay. Okay, so let me show you the features here. Now, on the back of uh, the figure, it's got this opening here. Get this on here. You just pop it off. You can see there in the back, it's it's uh the the piece I took off is attached. It's attached to the other piece by the uh, by a magnetic piece. So it's you know magnet. You can see that there. You just it just slides back in. And there's a little joystick right here, <clears throat> and this controls the parallel eye ball rolling system, which is the PERS. Um, that's what they call it. So you, you, what you do is you move the joystick around, and you can see there. Michael Keaton's eyes can move side to side, up and down. So that's really cool that it has this uh, feature there. I don't know if the focus is all the way in there. There we go. You can see that there. It looks just it looks realistic. I mean, like looking at it through the camera here and just like looking at him, it looks like Michael Keaton's like right in front of me. I don't know. I don't know if that sounds stupid, but it does. It does look like the actual actor and this just pops right back in so that's how you control that to move his eyes around and his uh, accessory here fell off I'm having trouble sticking this magnetic part on his belt but this is the grapple gun and it comes it opens up like this you can see there's a magnet piece right there and then he has the little uh, the end piece which is just clips onto this piece here you just clip this black piece on the belt and then it has a little hole on it Man, I'm all over the place here. Has a little hole on it, and uh, the little piece has a peg, so you just peg it in there. And the same thing with when connecting the uh, grapple gun. So you just put that right in there. So there's one of the accessories. It doesn't do anything, like, it doesn't launch or anything, but that's that's how it looks like complete. And you just flip that part open. So that's pretty cool that it comes with that. Um, the cape has little holes like on each side you just it has these it comes to little sticks I'll get into that in a second when I go over when I go over the accessories and what you do is you put the sticks on each side of the hand or each side of the cape and what you do is you put his hands you extend his hands out and then um, you the you at the end of the stick here he holds it and it just seems like he has that opening uh, like he's opening up his cape but I'm not gonna show all that there's the uh, de nice detailing in the suit. It's really, really nice. I just love how it looks. I heard they're making a Batman Returns one, and I'm definitely going to pick that up. There's a cowl. The cape, like I said, is a nice soft material. Really cool. There's the back side of Batman. If you guys want to see detailing on the back. The boots. Which, um, I actually just recently bought the 35th, or the, is it the 30th anniversary? Um, of um, uh, Batman, the, the original, 89, on Blu-ray, and uh, 
they were saying that on the special features that the boots were made by Nike. So that's pretty cool. You can see that. Really nice. Uh, they did a great job in doing the, uh, the sculpting this figure. Um, you guys can take a look at the gauntlets. See, one of the pieces of the gauntlet fell off just now. They give you extra ones, though. And they're actually pretty sharp, and they just slide back in. But you got to be careful with, with these little spikes at the end because they do fall right off, so careful with those. But you get a bunch of extra ones, so you get those. It's the gauntlet. And then the gloves, you get interchangeable hands. It's cool that they, get, they added on the gloves a little white spots there at the end of the, or on the, on the bottom of the glove there, or the hand, because, you know, he did have that in the movie as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, he comes with two interchangeable faces. So I'll get into that now. This is them here. This is how they come in the package. So one's a bloody face and one he has just like a, kind of like an open mouth expression. Um, what you do, they're also by magnetic, um, they're attached by like a magnetic little piece. So you just slide this off. That looks, whoop, that looks kind of creepy there. Come on, Batman. The, the figure actually stands on its own pretty good, too. So I'll show you both faces on. I want to get over. I want to get this review kind of done quick, because if I would have done it the original way I planned, it would have taken, like, over 20 minutes. Uh, there's uh, that expression there, so you can have him with the, like, after he got, you know, slammed in the uh, bat plane. That's a, I like this uh, expression. I think it looks great. So there's that one. And... Uh, Show you the other one. This one he has a maybe like he's saying something or doing a little kind of grin at the Joker. So there's that one too. This one actually looks good too. They they all actually look great. They look they look really nice. Now what I'm gonna do is move the camera over and we'll take a look at all the accessories he comes with. Let's see here. Ah, World War Z. Reading this book right now. If you guys haven't checked this out, check it out. All right. Let's see, so this is uh, his accessories here that he comes with. Ugh. He comes with a little instruction booklet, which I definitely need because, again, this is my first hot toy, and, uh, you know, I got to learn how to do all this crap. See, there's, that's what I was talking about with, the, with um, doing the, uh, the, um, the, you know, we're working the cape out, and the little sticks he inserts in the cape. Teaches you how to use the PERS system as well, or tells you how to use it, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. So, good thing it comes with a little instruction uh, booklet here. And here's all the accessories. It comes with like a little control for a bomb, little control device, nicely detailed. It comes with this little triangle shield here. If you guys remember when he's fighting that ninja in the alley. No, and actually it's in the bell tower where he's fighting that guy and then he raises his hand down, puts this out, and gets him right in the crotch. So this is that. Comes with little gas bombs. Comes with three of these little gas bombs, which is really cool. What else do we got here? Oh, he's got that little launcher, that line launcher. Or grapple. It's like a kind of like a different kind of grapple gun. But if you guys remember this, when he's in the uh, museum, and he first, uh, I guess you can see, no, he doesn't first encounter the Joker, but it's when he saves Selena Kyle, and this just attaches to his wrist. So you can see that there. It's actually pretty sharp, but um, it's, it's detailed really nicely. And then this just it can actually you know move in and out. It has a little spring there. That's pretty cool. So he does come with a good amount of accessories. He has little ninja stars seen right there. He has that little uh, little um, uh, little device or control that he he uses when he stops the Batmobile in the alley fight with Selena Kyle. So he has that little control thing that's right there. And of course, he comes with the Batarang. This is dope. Really, really cool. It doesn't fold in or out or anything, but it's still nice. It's a long rope. So that's cool. You can use it up. You can display Batman with it however you want. Pretty cool. So 
there's that. I think that's all the accessories, and then plus the grapple gun, which I already have Batman attached to. Here's the little um, rods I was telling you about that go in his wing to give it that, like, wings, or uh, his cape, sorry, to give him that look where he's, like, opening up his cape. And um, right in here, in this foam part, <clears throat> you can see right here we got uh, extra little spikes for the gauntlet. Um, also, extra little pegs. I'll put that right back in there. And here's all the interchangeable hands. So you get an open, an open hand. You can see that. It's really nice. So there's what? There's, there's an open hand. You get a, uh, this, this hand here, like he's, maybe he's holding the, um, the grapple gun. Get another one here. And there's this one. And there's this here, which is like a closed fist, which is pretty cool. And another closed fist. You can give him a fighting stance. It's pretty nice. Might want to display him like that. So those are all the um, interchangeable hands he comes with. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, total of eight. And the two interchangeable faces. So that's that's all the accessories he comes with. Sorry I didn't give you guys like a full-on detail, but if I would have done it or the way I originally planned, it would have taken me forever because I'm still you know new with this Hot Toys stuff. But it's great. I love it. I'm happy I finally got my first Hot Toys figure. Um, there's going to be a couple more I'll be getting. I'll be getting some Avengers ones. And I'm might get the uh, Batmobile from the 89. I will be getting the Joker from here and I'll give me I heard the re, I saw the re-releasing Joker not re-releasing him but they're doing the um, Heath Ledger 2.0 so I'll be picking up that one as well so let's go back to uh, to Batman here and again he is just a beautiful beautiful figure I mean if you guys can afford um, the figure a Hot Toys figure, I mean, maybe one, you know, get it. If you guys can afford it, get it. I think they're, they're, they're great. They're just great figures, highly detailed. They look just like um, the actor that portrays the character. Hot Toys just does an amazing job. So you get a bunch of accessories with these figures. Sorry I didn't give you guys like a full on look, but you know, again, I did my best with these. I just didn't want to take too much time. There's the base he comes with, of course, it lights up as well. And just a fantastic figure. I'd give him a good 10 out of 10 on this guy. So check him out, guys. If you guys, if you guys can, go ahead and get yourself a Hot Toys. Batman Keaton, 89. Alright guys, this is Sam Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Yeah, and we'll see you guys later. Take care. Oh, also, uh, stay tuned after this because we're going to be doing a bunch of Batman uh, reviews for, um, you know, to get ready in time for uh, Batman The Dark Knight Rises. I'll be doing other reviews in between, but mainly Batman stuff. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks. All right. Sorry about this, guys. But one thing I forgot to do about this figure, I forgot to show you guys the articulation on this guy. Um, so as far as articulation goes, he doesn't turn at the head. Damn camera. He doesn't turn at the head, but he does. I mean, in the movie, he didn't. He didn't turn at the or at the neck anyway. So um, he does have a bend at the bicep. He can rotate at the uh, at the wrist. Can also kind of go like in and out. The arms go in and out. Bend at the. I think I already said bend at the bicep. Uh, he does have a little bit of an ab crunch. No rotation in the waist. Um, legs do go in and out. They can go a little forward and back. Not too much. They bend at the knee. Foot goes up and down. It can rotate side to side. Right there at the lower leg. And that's pretty much it as far as articulation goes. Still a great figure. So sorry, I forgot to do the articulation part, guys. But yeah, that's pretty much um, the articulation goes. And if there is more, I don't know yet because I don't want to mess this guy up. But hope you guys enjoyed my review. See you soon.